This week at COP, we're praising God with Beyond the Limits, our singing seniors for 18 senior souls saved in this week's outreach. This week at COP, we're rejoicing with our COP family for God's good blessings in their lives. We have had dedications. The Magno family of the Lion of Judah East Choir dedicated their Toyota in Nova. Also from East Campus, Jeff and Annalyn Alvarez dedicated their 2017 Toyota Fortuner to the Lord. Attorney Tito Sese and his family dedicated their new office building to the Lord. Kids worker Sally Minimo dedicated her condo unit at Treetop Villas. Nariza Ellsworth and her family also dedicated a condo in the same building, Treetop Villas. Both families are rejoicing for souls saved during the dedication. Goldalyn Vasquez also dedicated a condo unit. Guess where? Also at Treetop Villas. Hmm. Is this the beginning of COP Treetop Villas campus? This week at COP, the Freedom Team held an outreach at the Manila City Jail where we praised God for 201 inmates who prayed the sinner's prayer accepting Jesus as Savior. This week at COP, something very good at COP. As we prepare for the tower installation in Tanawan for our 531 Bible Radio, ministries at main campus have been doing some test recordings and getting a little head start. Well, the good news is that East Campus Studio construction has already begun. Soon, our East Campus ministries will also be able to have the joy of spreading the good news through your own studios. Bible Radio. This week at COP, the Mighty Men in Uniform saw a wonderful 470 military souls saved through outreaches in Tarlac, Laguna, and Zambales. These were outreaches to Navy, Air Force, AFP, firemen, and Army recruits. Good week, MMU. This week at COP, our Aroma Sunday Chapel services held their first communion service last Sunday as our brothers and sisters are growing in the Lord and in the knowledge of His Word. Truly, lives are being changed. This week at COP, a testimony of thanks from Tatai Boy of our Aroma congregation. Brother Montano Monansala, or Tatai Boy as he is called by their neighbors, suffered from a stroke and he has been an invalid for a number of years. His sister is a Connect attendee and later on Tatai Boy also accepted Jesus as his personal savior and started attending the services with the help of our Aroma team using his very old wheelchair. He was always excited every Sunday to go to church, but the old wheelchair broke down. So it is with great gladness that he received the donated wheelchair that now enables him to continue attending the services. Thank you, COP. Coming up at COP East Campus, it is your turn. South Campus had incredible revival nights this week with Pastors Joe and Becky Cruz. Marvelous revival nights to wrap up our year. East, this week, it's your turn, Wednesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Come hungry for God and you will be filled. Coming up at COP this November, SNL has a new theme, Overcomer. Parents, allow this to be a blessing to your young people by encouraging them to be in the best youth service in the universe. Filled with biblical teaching, segments, and godly friendships, everything good is waiting for your young people. SNL Youth Service is simultaneous every Sunday, 5.30 p.m. in all COP campuses. Coming up at COP Hangers, our annual leaders refresher training with Pastor Samral will be November 30, 9 a.m. till 3 p.m. at the COP Main Auditorium. This year's Hangers theme is God Pleasers. Deadline for leaders to register for the free lunch provision is this Sunday, November 6. So please talk with your ministry pastor right away today. Coming up at COP, plan ahead for the most beautiful service of the year. Candlelight Communion will once again be on December 24 with two services, one at 5 p.m. and the second at 7.30 p.m. It has been another great week at COP.